In today's video, we're gonna switch it up just a little bit, and instead of dinner ideas, I'm gonna share with you four of my favorite breakfast recipes. Each one of these recipes are easy to make, and these would not only be perfect for breakfast, but these would also be really good options for dinner or even snacks. Let me show you these four easy breakfast recipes. This recipe is super easy to make, super delicious, and super filling as well. We're gonna need some eggs. We're gonna use just one puff pastry sheet. I just have the box out here. We have a couple different cheeses. I have some sharp cheddar, and this is some Colby Jack. We're gonna need a little bit of milk. We're also gonna need some bacon. All right, so we just have a baking sheet here. I have one of these little parchment sheets in there. We have our puff pastry dough. I'm just gonna you can roll this out with um, a rolling pin, but I'm just gonna kinda use my fingers just to kinda spread it out, make it a little bit more thin. I like a rustic pizza anyway. Now we're just gonna go around the edges and kinda make a little, just a little bit of a crust. Next, we're just gonna take a fork and we're gonna very gently poke some holes in here. And you really don't wanna poke it all the way through your crust, just kind of on the top. All right, this is going into a 425 degree oven. For about eight minutes, we're gonna pre-bake our crust before we add all of our breakfast toppings. All right, while that puff pastry is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and give a little chop to our bacon. Also, while our crust is baking, we're gonna go ahead and get three eggs in our bowl. We're gonna mix our eggs with some milk. I'm gonna do just a tiny pinch of salt and a good pinch of black pepper. We're gonna give everything a really good whisk. You can start to see I'm getting some good bubbles in there. I just wanna say anytime you're doing scrambled eggs, this recipe or not, the more bubbles you have, the more fluffy your eggs are gonna be. So when your arm gets tired, take a breather, keep going. All right, next we're gonna go in with our cheese. I'm gonna start with the Colby Jack. And of course, this is where you can go crazy with the toppings. You can do sausage, you can do a veggie breakfast pizza, whatever you and your family like. But you really can't go wrong with bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm gonna get a little bit of this sharp cheddar as well. Next, I'm just gonna pour on our egg, our scrambled egg mixture. Nice and evenly on our pizza. Who doesn't love pizza for breakfast too? Y'all, I love cold pizza for breakfast. Let me know down below if you like cold pizza for breakfast. And lastly, we're just gonna top with that cooked and chopped bacon. All right, our breakfast pizza is going back into the oven for just about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, this is looking so good. Yum, I cannot wait to cut into this. You can tell that egg has set up really nicely. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. This recipe is super easy. It only requires four ingredients, but these things are so delicious, y'all. So of course, we're gonna need some Bisquick. I'm just using a mixture of cheeses. I kind of wanted to use up some of this, and I'll probably dip into the Fiesta blend a little bit, but it's just one cup of shredded cheese. We're also going to need one pound of breakfast sausage, and then we're going to need four eggs. That's it. Let's put this together. So the first thing we need to do is brown up our sausage. So our sausage is done. I'm going to drain it. We definitely don't want all that fat in there. So I'm just going to, the way I like to do it, I just put mine on a paper plate with a couple paper towels. I'll just let it kind of hang out over here while we're getting together the rest of our ingredients. So now to a large bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my four eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and just whisk our eggs all together. Next, we're gonna add in our cheeses. Like I said, I'm just kind of using a couple bags that I had to finish off, but it should equal about one cup of shredded cheese. And sharp cheddar is my favorite in these. But we're gonna make it a gin cup. 
How much is a gin cup? Like one and a half? I don't know. It's like a cup with just a little with smidgen a... more for love and good luck. Then next, I'm gonna go ahead and bring back over our sausage that we drained. And give everything a little toss. We have our muffin tin. I'm gonna give each little one a good spray. And then next, I'm just gonna start filling up our muffin tin. They should be about three fourths of the way full. And by the way, not that I always film low calorie or low carb things. So these, I calculated the calories and they're only like 209 calories each. So I thought that was pretty good if you're watching that. And they actually are pretty low carb. I know we have the Bisquick in there, but I think it only adds maybe 11 carbs. So that's relatively low. I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna kinda divide it out. I already have my oven at 350, and these are going in there for about 18 to 20 minutes to go nice and brown on top. All right, we just pulled our little sausage muffins out of the oven. They look perfect. They look nice and golden on top. And then I just kind of pull mine up on the side with a knife to make sure that side is nice and brown. And they look perfect. They smell delicious. These are perfect little breakfasts just on their own, but these also make really good grab and go breakfasts. We've actually done these the day before we go on vacation. We can just kind of grab one and eat these on the way. They're perfectly good a day or two after. You just wrap them up in a paper towel and microwave them for about 30 seconds and they're perfect. These are so, so good. Look how good these look, y'all. They're so fluffy and light, have lots of flavor, sausage, cheese, and egg. How could you get wrong with that? Y'all give these a try. All right, let's see. So for the recipe, it calls for two cans of cinnamon rolls, but I got to thinking, my kids are the only ones eating it. They're not gonna eat two whole cans of cinnamon rolls. So we're just gonna half the recipe. Got that. Gonna need some heavy cream, half a stick of butter, and brown sugar. All right, let's preheat the oven to 350. Now, since I'm halving the recipe, I have a half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm just gonna pour that all in the bottom of the pan around the cinnamon rolls. All right, next, I'm just gonna melt half a stick of butter. Y'all, my camera was not recording, so I melted that butter. I added a little bit of brown sugar. The original recipe calls for half a cup, and I added some cinnamon. Now we're just gonna put this all over top of the cinnamon rolls and all kind of around them. And several people in TikTok said it looks kind of weird when you're making it, but it turns out good. All right, I saw some people cover it and some people did not with some tin full. So I'm gonna cover it and start with about 30 minutes and then we can always uncover it for the rest of the time. Actually, I think I'm gonna go about 20 minutes since these are the regular size. All right, they've been baking for about 15 or 20 minutes covered and y'all just look at how ooey and gooey they already are. But they definitely need to go back in there. So I'm going to uncover them and do about 15 more minutes. I'll keep an eye on them. And they have definitely gotten bigger already. So once they finish baking, you can see they really have doubled in size. But next time though, I am going to be sure to pick up those Grands variety. And y'all look at these things. They soak up all of that butter and heavy cream mixture. That's what gets them to be so big and fluffy. And then you just use the frosting that comes with it to put that on top. Of course, my kids love these. McKenna has already requested these for her birthday breakfast. And y'all, I'm not sure I can ever make canned cinnamon rolls again. With only a few ingredients, this really takes up your cinnamon roll game to another level. I 
I just have a loaf of French bread here and I'm gonna start by cutting this into one inch thick slices. We're gonna need about 10 slices just to cover the bottom of our dish. Now I'm just gonna brown up one pound of sausage. All right, so while my sausage is browning up, we're gonna make up our egg mixture. So first I'm gonna just crack eight eggs into a large bowl. To my eggs, I'm just adding two cups of milk, about a half a cup of grated Parmesan, and a pinch of black pepper. Now I'm just gonna whisk everything together. All right, so my sausage is all browned up, so I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle it all over our bread. Next, I'm just gonna pour that egg mixture all over top. And lastly, I'm just gonna top it with some sharp cheddar cheese, about a cup or however much you want. All right, this is going into the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes or until a knife comes out clean. If you've made it this far in the video, leave an egg emoji down there in the comments so I know that you're here. I would love to say hello to y'all down there as well. And make sure y'all stay tuned. We have lots of brand new recipe content coming straight for you. You don't wanna miss it. I'll see y'all real soon in the next video. Bye y'all.